Dose 1 is also called an adaptive dose. This is an expert mode. D1 is the universal mode with the visualization of the feedback parameters. It is used for systemic therapy, diagnostics of the functional state, and the so-called minimum sufficiency treatment. This mode, which was developed in Rhythm OKB Zao, based on major research, is unique. Its algorithm contains the company's know-how that makes it impossible to copy. The primary expert criterion is the value of reaction. When the electrode is applied to the skin, the value of initial reaction appears and stays on the screen. If we take the device off the skin, this value will remain on the screen, but if we keep it, starting from the second second, there will appear another value, which is dynamically changed and called the current reaction. That value of current reaction will change, since the dialogue between the device and the body is a continuous process. There is a graph at the bottom of the screen, on which we can see how the reaction was changed. In this case, the initial reaction is the lowest point, and here we can see how it grows up. Under the reaction value, we can see the parameter which is called the reaction change speed. This parameter indicates the quality of a dialogue, or in other words, the speed of interaction between the device and the human body. We also can see two vertical lines on the graph, blue and red, and also two indicators that look like an asterisk and a circle and have digits below them. These are indicators of dose and zero. The dose indication means that according to our criteria, during the treatment time, the reaction changed sufficiently enough to cause the body's response. The dose is indicated by the red asterisk symbol, and the value below it indicates the value of reaction and the moment when the dose was reached. The zero parameter is indicated by the blue symbol. It means that the reaction change speed fell less than 1% per second. The numbers below the zero symbol is the value of reaction at the moment when the zero was reached. On the graph, dose and zero are indicated by vertical lines. Here is an example of working in D1 mode. The algorithm is built on the binary comparison, which means that there is always a comparison of two parameters. First of all, we need to obtain the values of initial reaction of two points or places of electrode application. If there is no difference between them, just measure another point so that we have something to compare. We need to obtain a difference of 4 or higher. Then we can compare these two points and apply the electrode to the place with a higher value, holding it there until the dose signal. After that, we measure the initial reaction in the next point and compare it to the initial reaction of the point we treated until the dose. If the initial reaction of the new point is higher by 4 or more, we also treat it until the dose. And finally, when we obtain two dose values, we can compare them. Apply the electrode to the place with the bigger dose value and hold it there until zero. Dose 2. Differential dose. The difference from D1 is that here the dose signal indicates the absence of reaction change during 3 seconds. That means that the dose appears if the active dialogue between the device and the skin is over and there is no dynamics for 3 seconds. In this mode, the symbol of dose is the green triangle. We can also see the value of reaction when it was reached and the vertical line on the graph that indicates it.
Please note that there is no zero in this mode. This dosing mode presents in all our devices, including the home models.